My vision for a more inclusive workforce is that just everybody has an equal opportunity. Everybody has the same access to uh, positions and um, you can get the best person for the job no matter what context they come from. Thankfully there are a lot of things that businesses can do. So in terms of their um, application procedures, you know, making sure there's no gendered language in there, a lot of times you see applications that it assumes that everybody has either a male or a female gender or uses those pronouns. So Then also talking to your employees, like having a chat to them about trans people and you know that, that we exist and that non-binary people exist um, and not making assumptions um, based on how someone looks on what gender they have or, or what pronouns they use um, that would be really really helpful giving candidates autonomy over the job process as well so I've been denied a job uh, recently because I'm transgender and they were like they outright said uh, look you're a favorite candidate but you're transgender so we're not gonna offer you the job we're not going to take your application further because we think it would be too dangerous for you. I mean, well, you're missing out on possibly the best candidate for the job just because of your own prejudices or your own mistakes in the, in the application process. Um, then you're also missing out on someone who truly understands the need for inclusivity and diversity. Um, so in other areas of your company where you might not be as inclusive as you could be, um, this trans person is probably going to spot that and call you out on it. You're used to having to um, have difficult conversations with people, uh, problem solve, uh, break down barriers. Um, so for the example of a transgender person, you have to deal with some of the difficulties that can come with uh, people's perceptions of you and their prejudices of you because you're trans. Um, if you're looking to access medical care like hormones or surgery, you have to go through countless psychologists and psychiatrists and endocrinologists to prove who you are and break down all of those barriers each time. Um, and in workplaces asking for stuff like gender neutral bathrooms or uh, the correct title on a form like MX instead of Mr or Mrs. Um, these are all things that we're used to doing um, and so in other areas of your business where you need us to be problem solvers, um, you need us to think outside of the box and, and break down barriers and that's stuff that we're really good at.